Leader of the Economic Freedom Fighters, Julius Malema, has again called for the collapsing of borders in Africa. Malema was speaking at the party's sixth birthday anniversary celebrations in Bumalanga this afternoon. Comrades, this continent of Africa must be one. I hear you saying, eh? he says, eh, eh, the borders must be open. The borders must be opened. Because borders are opened for white people. When there is a white person from Mozambique who can't even speak English, you welcome them. When there is a brother from Mozambique into Nelspreet, you call them names. Yet you don't call white people names. There is no Mozambique here. There is no Swaziland here. There is no Lesotho here. There is no Botswana here. Zambia or Namibia. There is no Zimbabwe. There is Africa, the continent of our ancestors. We were divided. We were divided by the colonizers. What type of a student activist are you? What type of a ground force are you? You say, I don't want colonialism. We want decolonization. Yet you are supporting colonial borders in Africa. We don't want anything that looks like colonialism. We want to be one thing with our sisters in Tanzania, in Nigeria, in Egypt, in DRC, in Sudan, in South Sudan, everywhere else in Africa. We don't want passport. We don't want visa. We must move free of charge. We are one thing. This continent is one. I am a Zimbabwean. I am a Nigerian. I am a Tanzanian because African brothers everywhere where we are, we are victims of racism and colonialism. They don't care whether you come from Mozambique or South Africa, you are black, they hate you. The best we can do, solidarity amongst Africans. Let us hold each other's hands. Let us protect each other against colonialism. I saw a video of some police harassing a Nigerian in Santin. I want to say to my Nigerian brothers and sisters, those police do not represent us and they do not represent the South African police services. Those police, they must be dealt with, they must be disciplined for harassing a person because, simply because this person is a Nigerian. It must come to an end. Some fool is going to say, but these Nigerians are committing crime. Fine. If Nigerians are committing crime, a lot of them are in Hillbrook. Why are the soldiers not in Hillbro but in Cape Town among South Africans? There are no soldiers on Nigerians. There are no soldiers on Mozambicans. They are soldiers on South Africans themselves. Because crime is committed by us. We are the ones who are selling drugs to our own people. We are the ones who are beating up our own women. We are the ones who are killing each other. And then you hide behind the Nigerians. Stop being cowards. Take responsibility. Stop crime. When Nigerians come here to commit crime and they do not find us as criminals, it will not be conducive for them to do crime where crime is not happening. It starts with you. Stop crime. Stop hiding criminals if you want a peaceful South Africa. Zimbabwe, please find a solution. The economy of Zimbabwe is worrying all of us. Please find a permanent solution. Ramaphosa, we ask you to help our brothers in Zimbabwe. Their problem is our problem. Because when we had problem with apartheid, 
they received us in their country they helped us it is our turn to return the favor drc we can see what they are doing there they want those beautiful minerals of drc they are destabilizing it they are making you african brothers fight amongst yourself including making it difficult for the president to appoint his cabinet drc african leaders come together we want a stable drc we want a drc that works we want a drc that owns its minerals we want a drc that will use the proceeds of those minerals to benefit the people of drc sudan there is no army that can preside over civilians we don't have a problem with the intervention of the army let it not last for more than a year we want elections in sudan we want civilians to choose a government of their own south sudan don't be threatened by opposition embrace opposition south africa ready yourself to go to south sudan let us go and help them to build that new country let us help them to stand on their own so that we can be proud that a country was formed during our time and we helped to establish that country and make it stable cuba and all those who are threatened by the usa please do not succumb to imperialism do not succumb to colonialism venezuela we are with you cuba we are with you russia continue showing america a middle finger so that you can put it at its rightful place they must stop thinking they can bully the world forever and ever it will never happen we want the world that is characterized by democracy and respect for human rights